What's up guys? I'm back with Quran. You guys have bugged me and bugged me and bugged me <laughs> that you need more BPF. Quran's video was actually one of the most popular videos we've done and so what? due to popular demand, it's true Quran, they the first the first five days had 500 views, which is actually the best we've done. That is amazing. It's a month old and it's almost at 2,000 views. Wow. I've gotten tons of requests to bring you back, so you guys, here he is, back with us to, to do a four-part series on BPF. First things first, we're going to go through how you plan your business process. After that, we're going to go through how you build your database and create your entities and forms. From there, we'll build the BPF, the uh -huh. flows, and, and the model-driven app will already be yep. done as well. I skipped that, and then finally... We're going to use that thing. We will teach people how to use it. Yep. All right, you guys, four videos coming your way. Part one is here. Let's go get it. Yeah. So, so, so accepting the offer. Starts on accepting offer. So then if we think about onboarding, we have several different things. We have yeah. the HR system, yep. which captures all of my personal information, my payment information, my emergency contacts, insurance, all that, right? So yeah. we have the HR bucket. All right, guys. So you just saw Karan and I working through how to plan a business process. Now we've cleaned up the board and we have gone ahead and just put each of our stages in the BPF here. And so now what we're going to do is decide that on how each of these will then be empowered in the database with mm -hmm. entities and then what kinds of questions and things we need to be putting into our forms to then actually make this process work and move smoothly. All right. So Karan, let's go ahead and jump in here and let's start with our HR team, what do we think is is the first thing we need? I, we got to decide our entities, yeah. then our forms, correct? Yeah, so as a look at these two processes, you have very different roles of people involved. Yeah. This is all about HR and the team admin, just making sure that the new employee is in the system. Yes. It's all about like employee information, really. So let's just have an entity called employee information. Okay. Right. So. In this particular entity, we need to make sure that we have all of the attributes that we want for the steps. Okay. But in addition, because the BPF is guidance, we need to make sure we're giving people a place to actually capture this information. Gotcha. Right? So you might, for instance, want to have uh, their LinkedIn profile. Okay. That might be useful to have for the employee. So, so this is all of the information we want to gather about All them. of it, across so, the BPF, across the forms. And then are we going to assume that we have their name and all that already from previous steps? Or we, do we want to capture all that here Let's as well? Let's capture it here. Let's make the employee info our one place to go okay. to get everything about the employee. So we want their name. Yep. So okay. we need to make sure that we're capturing the personal information that they need to go in and verify. Okay, so things so their like address and their phone number. Phone number. Great. Okay. So that's a pretty good list, I think, for I all think that's all inclusive. information. That's right? all inclusive, yeah. And so now we can have our business process guiding our HR, our team admin, and our new hires just going through all of these fields and making sure it's all populated, that they awesome. can go back and verify it. Okay, great. These are two very different audiences, don't you think? Absolutely. You think it might make sense for us to give them different apps altogether? So we could give like a manager a separate app to help onboard an employee. I think we should do separate apps. Yeah, so this and, is and like when a, This one ends, this one begins. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so each person gets their own specific app with their own BPF tailored to that experience. Perfect, I like that. Cool. So let's talk about the manager process. So this one was all about helping your uh, new employee be onboarded so they can start being productive. So as part of the immerse stage, we started with you know reviewing existing capabilities, building up use cases and scenarios. So let's maybe call one of the things you need to know is what thing they're assigned to, right? So like so do they have team or product? Yeah. Okay. Product area, employee ramp up. I think let's call it that. And I think finally, what we would, what would be really cool for the manager to have is really sort of like an activity or a task list. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So they can kind of put down a list of action items and say, hey, I expect this person to be done by so-and-so date, um, so that way they can just stay on top. Okay. So should we call that expectations? Yeah. So I think with that, we've covered the business processes we're going to need, okay. the action items within each stage, okay. and the information that we're going to need along the way on the form so that you can kind of use the process for guidance. So then now, do we, so basically all these will come over to here. Our goal is we're trying to capture everything here that these stages will need as well. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. Is there anything else that you think we might need on the form for either of these processes? Permissions. Yeah, yeah. That's what's really important. Right, which which could be something that we inherited from manager, but yeah, I think it's you good might have to like give different options. levels of like clearance, yeah, you know? Yeah, so totally. yeah. Okay, okay, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys feel good about that? With us so far? Alright, right on. Should we build this then? Let's do it. Let's do that. So we're going to start with our uh, employee onboarding business process. Let's build that out, uh, okay. that app first. So first thing we're doing is we're going to make a database yep. and entities, right? Yep. So okay. we're going to build our data model. And so if you recall from our previous video, we decided we're going to make an entity for employee information. Yep. So to do that, I'm going to go to data, entities, and build them from there. Let's call this. Yeah, it's pretty exciting for me, Karan. I've never built a CDS entity before. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't admit that out loud, but it's the <laughs> truth. Boom, done. You've been an entity. All right. Look at that. All right. We're already crossing things <laughs> off the list. All right, next. Let's start adding the fields that we're going to need in the business process and okay. on the form. Okay. So let's start adding the fields that we have on the form to begin with. Let's call this a uh, full name of employee in English. In English. It's good to good to specify. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and save that. Okay. So now we add fields and each time we save it and that just updates that entity to then yeah. have those fields. So then when we go and make the app, we could then it's build like a model-driven app and all those forms are there already. Exactly. Perfect. So you don't have to save the entity every time you make a field. You could just make a whole bunch of them and save at the end. Got it. So I'm going to add another one. Okay. Let's see what we had on the list of fields here. We had role. Let's call this role. So in data type, I think we want this to be text, right? Yeah. Just type Probably. in. Type it in, yeah. Um, Unless we have some selection. You know, we could make it a selectable thing. Let's say it is um, a tough type option set. Okay. Um, so here, I can go ahead and start adding options. Ah, okay. So let's see. So what roles do we want? Let's say project manager. Let's add software developer. Let's add um, UX designer. UX designer, that's good. Marketing, sales, IT. That's probably a good subset to start with. All right, yeah. Let's add one more. Next, we had, oh, corp email. Let's add another field. Let's say. And so you guys saw us outline all these on the board. For the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and enter all these in, but we're going to speed up the video and jump you ahead to where we actually start building this now. Okay. And that's it. Awesome. So we've gotten all of the fields we need on the form and in our business process okay. right here. So we have a new entity called Employee Information. Mm -hmm. Inside of that entity, we've created all of our fields like you guys can see here. Mm -hmm. And so now if you're following along, make sure that your entities and data types match what we're doing here. So that way you can come along and build with us. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. I think we're ready to move on. Yeah. So last step, let's just save this entity and make it a real thing. Right on. All right. So we've got all our fields in. So if you look along the top, we've got all these tabs for like relationships to other tables in your database, oh. uh, views if you want to like make reports and charts inside of your app. 
thing we're most interested about is, is forms right now, so let's go do that. Okay. So when you make an entity, it automatically creates a form for you. It's called a main form. So let's just go ahead and open that. Okay. This, You guys, this is the first time I'm seeing this too. This, if this is your first time seeing it, we're, we're seeing it for the first time together. Right, so as you can see, this is the employee information form, but there isn't much information in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and organize our information on the form into like tabs. I think that just helps to keep it clean, right? Okay. So let's make this sort of first tab, which is called general right now. Let's call it like personal information. That sounds good. So I'm going to select this tab. I'm going to hit change properties. And I'm just going to call this personal information. And yep. If you want to make that available on phone too. Perfect. Next, let's start dragging and ooh, let's actually finish making all that. Happen. Let's start dragging in the fields you want in the personal information. Okay. So let's so see. So we have name there. So we need address, phone number. I'm just going to drag and drop address in here. We need all of our different email, phone number. Oh, and then we have mobile phone and personal home phone. Mean, uh, where was the phone? It's home on. phone and mobile phone are what they're called. Yeah, so there's mobile. And what was home phone? There it is. Date of birth. Date of birth. Let's kind of reorder some of these to make a little more sense. Okay. Let's move address at the bottom. Now, if you want to, if you're curious about what this is going to look like, you can just hit the preview button right here. Um, but we're not going to do that right now. Okay. Uh, let's add another tab. Oh, actually, let's add in the same tab. Let's, yeah, let's add another tab. So we're going to go add a, how do I add a tab? Where's my, what? I guess that's gone now. Okay, change plans. Subgroup? Gonna, where was this? Insert subgroup. That's oh, sub -grid. Sub -grid. Oh. So That's if you want to see like a list of items ah, inside okay. of, yeah. Okay. Uh, the section gives me like this guy here. So let us add just another section, I guess. So let's just call this employee information. This will probably lay out better too. And then I'm going to call this section uh, personal info. Um, Make sure the label is visible. Yep. And then let's add another section at the bottom. Mm, okay. So this is like what you did with tabs before. Now it's sections. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so let this be sort of like um, personal info, employment info. Yeah. That's like their workspace and their manager yeah. and all that. Yeah. All right, that looks good. That looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead, save this, and publish it. This is exciting. And now this we have a form. Exciting. So we just built the model-driven app. Uh, we built the data model and the form. Okay. The next thing we wanna do is make an app that will have our business process, the form, and the data model all in it for like a super nice personalized experience. Okay, so this, I think, gets us concluded for video one. Yeah. Would you say? All right. So so we have planned with you guys on how to go through and build a business process. We have done a bit of preparation in showing you the entity and the fields that need to go in that entity. And now we've come and actually laid down the data fields for our form. So in our next video, we're going to show you how to put together the model driven app that houses all of this and then in future videos, how to build the flows and use all of this, okay? So that was video one. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for video two, where we show you how to actually start using all this awesomeness that you've just built. All right, guys, as always, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.